Hey guys, I'm Theo Joe, and this video is going to be episode two of my professional computer tutorial series. This video is going to be about Windows. It's been a while since I made episode one, but I thought I would bring it back. Now this video is going to be all about the Windows computer system, and first I'm going to talk about some of the basic features like clicking, move and paste, and downloading internet. First, let's start off with the basics, clicking. Now, to do this, you're going to need a trackball. It is usually bought separately from the computer. Now, you can click either once. I just have some sample files here. You can click either once to click on the program, or for advanced users, you can double click to install computers. So, that's clicking. And next we're going to talk about something you may have seen already that in the just previous example and that is window boxes. Now these are going to show different computers you can open. So this is a window box you saw and that's where the term windows comes from because they look like windows in your house. Now we're going to first open up some different computers. Let's start off for example with Google Chrome Explorer. So to get to that you just click on it or double click if you're advanced and that's just an example we're gonna actually get to Google Chrome Explorer a little bit later another computer you can install is the start box and that brings up lots of different computers you can install and download now you can also load some files in addition to this so these might be on the most used computers or like on your wallpaper right here that I showed already these files can be all over your CPU. Now, as you can see, you can double click on the files on the wallpaper, but you can also move them around to different places on your computer. And every time you move it around, it goes to different places on your CPU drive. And if you want to install one of these, all you have to do is double click if you're an advanced user, or if you're a basic user, you can actually right click and then click open which does the same thing. Now I want you to take a look at this. Once we open it up, now it installs it and downloads it from the CPU drive, and then you have all the different text. Now text takes up a lot of data, so you don't want to type too much or else it'll fill up your USB CPU drive. Now when you change it, let's say we want to add a new line, just as an example, we'll just hold down the five button and just type out some random text, and then we can go and hit save and it's gonna download it to the CPU so next time you click it it's gonna open up and now it's gonna be saved there like a memory bank that you see in movies and don't worry because the computer cannot forget like we can so you don't have to worry about coming back and trying to remember what you saved the computer will do that automatically for you which is a great reason to get Windows now Let's go back to the start box, sometimes called the start menu. Now, what you do here, as I mentioned before, is you can click on computers to install them. Here we had some file cabinets over here that we opened up by double clicking, but here you can install the same computer by clicking on it right from the start box. Now, my favorite computer is the notepad right here because it lets you type things in. So I can type, hello, how are you today? And now that text is not just in my head or on the keyboard, it's actually in the computer. So that's really cool. And it's definitely one of the features that you won't get with other CPUs. Now, I also want to demonstrate a really important feature that Windows has, and that's copy and paste. So you can select this text and maybe if you want to send it to a friend or have them so they don't have to type it out, you can just right click with your trackball and click copy. And now say you didn't feel like typing that out all the way again, you can go down to the next line and go and paste. Now this is a feature that Macs don't have, so I really recommend getting Windows if you want to do something like copy and paste. So now that we've covered all the programs you can use in the Windows OS CPU, let's go on to check out some internets. Again, we're going to go back to the Google Chrome Explorer. Now, every time you install the Google Chrome Explorer, it's going to load up a window box and we can load different webnet pages. Now, let's say we want to type in google.net. That's one of my favorite websites 
because it lets you install WebNet pages from all over the internet and you don't even have to have them on your computer to begin with. So it's a really good search motor and I definitely recommend installing this program if nothing else, Google. And the cool thing about Google is you can actually type in text here as well as on Notepad, but it's important to know that Google does not save any text you type in like Notepad does. So if we type in hello, then it brings up different WebNet pages that we can install and go to, such as this movie. Now, this is different from movie theaters because you don't actually have to pay, so that's really neat. So don't worry about clicking on things. You typically don't have to pay for movies, such as on the YouTube.net internet website. Okay, so now that we covered the entire internet, Let's go back to the best feature, in my opinion, on the Windows computer system, which is the clock. Now, the great thing about this is you never have to own another clock again. I mean, I can't believe other programs like Mac don't have this, but basically it tells you exactly what time it is, even down to the second. So you have no reason to go to Target or Walmart and buy a wall clock ever again because you have one right on your computer. So anytime you want to have a clock, you can just go out and buy a whole new CPU instead of a wall clock and it'll be way more productive. So I definitely think this is a program to check out first thing and I think it's really neat. So I think that about covers all the best features of the Windows operating program. So if you're going to buy a new CPU, this is definitely one to check out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have some other videos you want to check out, those will be on the right hand side. You can just click those or look in the description for the same link like if you're on a phone. And if you want to subscribe, I make new videos like this Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I think it should be worth it to subscribe. And I want to hear what you guys think. So you can let me know in the comments section what's your favorite CPU program to install. And also like this video if you found it helpful. I also have a Twitter if you want to hit me up on there as well. So thanks for watching guys. I will see you next time. Have a good one.